complaining about? Really? Yeah. I gotta feed the sheep. There are the lambs. Come on, girls. Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna put the food in the trough first and then I'll let you in. So the horse is part of the shed. There's wood chip. The layers of straw are underneath. The next layer is the wood chip. There's some hay over there, hay over there. Then uh, the lambs will be in here for the storm. I'm gonna let them in. Come on, babies. There we go. They've got their, some hay there. So they'll be happy munching their food. And I'm gonna lock them in while the, uh, because now the horses are next. So I have to open this gate wider. Oh, there we go. Now, this gate has to be pulled across. And then this pseudo electric fence. Oh, so the horses don't do, go where I don't want them to. Oh, that's not working very well. There we go. Okay, now, this is to keep the sheep from going up this way, up this laneway. The horses are already ready and waiting for me to um, get them down. These gates. Uh, someday I'll be able to do this. Someday I'll get it right. There, one, two. Fold that back. Can you move? Good girl. There, now. Hey, girls. Come on, Marco. Mom, Miss Daisy Rose, look, you can see the storm. The darkness of the clouds is gathering up behind them. The wind is in the tops of the trees, so it's coming. You can see the clouds are traveling kind of fast. It's supposed to be very windy tonight and very wet. Okay. I can't wait till my gate, I get the beautiful old gate standing here. Can you back up a little bit? Go on, back, move. Good girl. Oops. Well, hopefully the horse is okay. She banged the gate with her body. Everybody's in. They're still munching their food happily. You look okay. Yeah, no, I think she's fine. She hit the gate, but she's fine. Hey, Miss Daisy Rose. Calling the farrier to get her feet done. We're gonna do the next stage of hoof pairing. She's so much better than when I first got her. And good old Marco Polo. The old man. He must be in his mid 
to late twenties. I've had them for 18 years. No, more than 18 years. So he's in his mid to late twenties at this stage. No, yeah, it's more than 18 years I've had him. Goodness me. I think I've had him nearly 20 years. So, and he was broken and driving and riding and all those kind of things when I got him. You good old man. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna lock everybody up and go in. That person's waiting to eat the bits and pieces that the horses leave behind. Aren't you, Mr. Crow?